Skating for Bear City today, we have number 030, Jane Von Payne. Number one, The Lexicutioner. Number 109, Amazon. Number 111, Maya Mangalyu. Number 114, Freddie Mercury. Number 166, Zabi Schmackdown. Number 180, Miss Zoffy. Number 21, Bambickel. Number 2323, Victoria. Number 247, Catherine Beater Bones. Number 25, Mia Missile. Number 254, Scaratina. And number 42, Lizzie Slaughter. Number 53, Rookie Horror. Number 666, Hannah Satana. And on the bench today, we have Daniel and Heartbreaker. Let's give a big cheer for Bear City Roller Derby. And on the other bench, wearing blue today, we have DRDA. Skating for Dublin today, we have number 123, Maria Von Slap. Number 16, Gemerald. Number 169, Brudal E. Lowcock. Number 17, Dirty Knees Louise. Number 23, Green Hal Cooney. N number 3, Valdemort. Number 47, AK. Number 490, Mally Bruce Stacy. Number 53, Argy Bargy. Number 575, Pippa. Number 800, Thea. Number 83, it's Snowy. Number 90 is Lana Payne. And number 95 is Maniha. And on the bench today we have Violent Bob and Kitty. Let's give it up for your home team, Dublin Roller Derby. Introducing your officials for today, on the refereeing side with the stripy jerseys, we have Shref, Jean-Claude Grand Slam, Martin McFly, Logan Nighthawk, De Koenig, Victoria Velociraptor, and Beans on, Bo Stop, Beans on Toe Stops. And your NSOs for today, Brain of Terror, Marilyn Manson, Ginger Snaps, Magma Donna, Louise Dempsey, Shaker Booty, Liz Frizzle, Fury, Ashley O'Connell, Juligan, and Riff Raff. We love you. Just a reminder of the emergency exits. If you are in the, in the building, the, one, the door you came in, there is a door to the left of the hall and a door directly across the hall. So if there is an emergency other than Amazing Derby, please make your way quietly, calmly, and don't scream too loudly. Thank you. Okay, we're ready for jam number one, 12 seconds to Derby. So lining up on the jammer line today, I can see for Dublin is uh, Snowy, number eight, three, and for Bear City is number one, 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 Maya Mangalou. Mangalou. We're underway already. Dublin have a goat up here at the front. Catherine Beaterbones is being held and they're trying to keep the pack, but she's found her way back to her teammates and pack mates. Maya Mangalu is out first. Lead jammer goes to Bear City for jam number one. Oh, and that was a very quick trip round the track there for Maya Mangalu. She has completed her initial scoring pass. That is four points on the board. The scores are now open for Bear City. Snowy still trying to find some space there. Uh, Hannah Satana has pushed her back, forced a recycle and a reset of that wall there. <laughs> 
We're going to have a little bit of a timeout as we call the medics. And we are all good, I think. Ready to reset, reset for jam number two of the day. Brudeli Lukak is being looked after here by our excellent medics. And lining up on the jam line, we have number 030, Jane Von Payne. And number 800, Theo for Dublin. So we have the Bear City pivot is in the box. So fewer blockers to beat for Thea. But up the front there, Jane Von Payne almost making it through. She's forced to recycle by Malibu, Stacy, And Dublin get a chance to reset. And Thea is out first. Picking up lead jammer status for the first time today for Dublin. Thea looking for those gaps as she is in the midst of the pack there, trying to work her way through. Spots that Jane Von Payne is on her way up to the back, calls off the jam. And Dublin opened their scoring with four points. So leading into jam number three, it's four points to Dublin and seven points to Bear City. Ah, and I see Dirty Knees Louise is on the track today as her 100th game for Dublin. Yeah. Number 166, Zabi Schmackdown for Bear City. And it is Green Hal Cooney, number 23 for Dublin, who's pushed her way right up to the front there. She just one skater to beat, but she is not your lead jammer. Zabi, Schmackdown. Lee Jammer, she spots Green Hal Cooley hitting for the back of the pack. She calls off the jam. She gets one more point on the board for Bear City and manages to hold out Dublin. We've got some quick jams going on right now. We're three jams in, and they've all gone fairly short jams get your points call it off only one of the jams has gone to a second scoring pass so far Gemerald number 16 jamming for Dublin and Ms. Zoffy number 180 for Bear City she's out and around that outside line around turn number one picks up lead jammer status Jam complete with another four points on the board there. Oh, excuse me, three points on the board there for Bear City. So total for them, 11 points. Dublin still on four. These two teams very, very close in the rankings. In European rankings, they're like number nine and number 10. And there's only a few points separating them in the, in the inter international WFTDA rankings as well. So this is going to be freaking great. And that's Snowy out first, your lead jammer, dashing Trudy Snow, number 83. A recycle here for Maya Mangalu. Mangalu, she doesn't have to go back behind uh, Pippa. Pippa's on her way to the box. And Snowy trying to find her way through. 
Managing to complete her, snow, her scoring pass before Maya Mangalu re rejoins the back of that pack. Another four on the board for Dublin. Oh, make that seven on the board for Dublin. No, four on the board for Dublin. I was right the first time. They're just confusing me. So that's eight points for Dublin, 11 for Bear City. So two in the box for Dublin, one in the box for Bear City. Thea is jamming for Dublin, number 800-030, Jane Von Payne for the Berliners. And Jane Von Payne running on her toe stops down that outside line on that initial straightway, picking up lead jammer status very, very quickly. And she does a full 360, engaging on her toe stops with the pack around turn two to complete her scoring pass. And she's going again for a second one. That's eight points on the board there. Let's see, did Thea manage to pull anything back before that final whistle? No, she did get four in her initial pass. And eight for Bear City. So that's an, a 19-12 game. We're six minutes in. I don't know where the time goes. Number 166, Zabi Schmackdown for Bear City. And Green Halcuni, number 23 for Dublin on the jam line. An attempt there by Amazon to get Green Halcuni out of bounds, but she manages to take herself out a little bit as well. Green Halcuni is on her way through for a scoring pass there. Zabi Schmackdown still in the thick of it there, being held back by Pippa. As Greenhouse Cooney engages and calls off the jam. She picks up another one point though. So well worth hitting the back of that pack. So 17 points now for Dublin. 19 for Bear City. And I have a feeling it's going to continue like this for the entire game. Ah! Miss Zoffy, number 180 on the jam line for Bear City. She's through, she's not on the jam line anymore. She's a lead jammer. AK number 47 for Dublin, working her way through the pack as well. Malibu Stacy marshalling that tripod and succeeding in squeezing Miss Sophie out for the recycle. And a completed scoring pass for Miss Sophie and the first power jam of the game going to Bear City. A track cut there for AK. And a big hit for Miss Duffy. She's out and back again, resetting, but she's through for her second scoring pass of the jam. Excellent work there from, uh, I think that was Pippa pushing her back. Miss Duffy forced to recycle way, way, way back. If you can do that during a power jam, it is always, always, always a good idea. So first power jam of the day of the game and first over 10 points scored. So there's now 14 points between the teams, 17 to Dublin, 31 to Bear City. And a 12 point jam there. Could have been a lot higher too if it weren't for the defense. 
Anna Satana taking out Snowy and pushing a re pu forcing a recycle way back up the front there. Maya Mangalu making her way out of the pack. Snowy still grinding her way up the front. She's got Bam Bickle to beat, and she's got Hannah Satana to beat. And Snowy is out. She's your lead jammer. And it is a power jam to Dublin. So let's see if they can try and pull back some of those 12 points from the last jam as Snowy engages for her scoring pass. Don't forget these days in Derby, it is four points for a pass. You don't score points for, for passing your jammer. I think they're just changing things to confuse people, but maybe this one would have makes more sense. Maya Mangalu out of the box and through that pack, completing her initial. Snowy happy enough with her four points and calls the jam. So 10 points now between the teams, 21 points for Dublin, 31 points for Bear City, and we've already gone almost 12 minutes into the first half of this game. Jane Von Payne, number 030, jamming for Bear City. And that is Thea wearing the star for Dublin. Getting recycled there by Amazon, number 109. Meanwhile, up the front, it is really, really frantic. But Jane Von Payne just making it out before Thea catches her, spots Thea pulling ahead and calls off that jam. Wearing blue, number two, three, Greenhall Cooney. And up the front there, 166, uh, Zabi, Zabi Smackdown. Picking up lead jammer status once more for Bear City. This time, however, she has a full complement of blockers to beat. It is a power jam. Greenhall Cooney picking up a track cut on her way around. So this is, I think, I think the second power jam here for Bear City. They've really capitalized on that first one, drawing ahead by 12 points, an additional 12 points. So let's see what they can manage this time around with a full complement of Dublin blockers to beat. Ms. Zoffy is out and around on that final turn. A cute little pirouette gets her the four points. Meanwhile, Greenhall Cooney has rejoined the fray. But she's back in the box again for another infraction. That's an extended power jam for Bear City, and they are going to try and make it count. 12 points so far on the board. They still have that four, four wall of Dublin blockers to beat, though. As Zabi Schmackdown engages once more with a tripod. Dirty Knees Louise standing by to render assistance. And the Berlin blockers are going in there trying to break things up and get room there for Z Zabi Schmackdown. Green Alcuni was out of the box like a shot that time. She wasn't going to let herself get back in there. And 
and another. Oh, it's a 15 point jam that time for Bear City. So these power jams are really adding up. 25 points now between the teams 21 to Dublin Roller Derby A and 46 to Bear City A. Dublin have called a team timeout, their first of the game. And it's probably a good time to tell you that we will be drawing a raffle at half, half time. There is a whole bunch of prizes over there, including lots and lots of lovely booze. So if you haven't already bought your tickets, you'll have a couple of minutes at the start of the half to buy them. And also, later on, we will be seeing you, hopefully, at the back page in Fibs Fibsborough from about 8 o'clock, where we have pizza available, and there is food for you vegans also. So come on down and celebrate or commiserate, as your case may be. And that comes to the end of the timeout, so we're resetting once more. And it looks like Zabi Schmackdown picked up a penalty at some point towards the end of that jam or at the end of that jam. So she's starting in the box. And Gemerald, number 16, is jamming for DRD. And a block is called on Gemerald, releasing Zabi Schmackdown. Re Zabi Schmackdown makes it through and picks up lead jammer status. It's going to be a very, very quick penalty for each of these jammers. They're not going to spend long in the box. As Zabi Schmackdown completes her scoring pass, another four points on the board. Gemerald is released. So Zabi Schmackdown, happy with her eight points. So she had two complete scoring passes. And jamming for this jam, we have 8-3, Snowy, and we have number 180, Miss Zoffy. And we have now got an empty bench as many had joined the track. So Snowy picking up lead jammer status this time. Dublin really, 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 really need these lead jammer statuses. They want to get control of this game a little bit more and start pulling back that points differential. And a full scoring pass by Snowy. Miss Thuffy is clear as well, though, so Snowy calls off that jam. And everybody races for that jam line. A full complement once more on the track, four versus four. I mean, plus jammers. So Thea, number 800, up against Maya Mangalu, number 1111. And Mangalu is very, very quick down that outside line. And before even turn one, she is lead jammer for Bear City. Lizzie Slaughter holding back Thea there. And it looks like we've seen a star pass, the first of the day. Well, the first successful one of the day, anyway.
Pesto, 030, Jane Von Payne for Bear City. Green Halcuni, number 23 for Dublin. Are your jammers for this jam? Very quick slide down the outside by Green Halcuni, and she battles her way at the front there. I think that's Bam Bickle she's after making her way past. Sorry, it was Vittoria. And Greenhill Cooney picking up a point and calling the jam. Very, very close there between your jammers. Number four, seven, AK, jamming for Dublin. And Zabi Schmackdown, number 166, for Bear City. Zabi Schmackdown is out again through the Dublin pack, picking up lead jammer status for the Berlin team. And Zabi Schmackdown completing another scoring pass. Now one blocker apiece in the penalty box. As Maniha, who's the pivot and has is holding the star, so she's soon to be the jammer, I hope, is working her way through and is being held back extremely well there by a, a Bear City tripod. Some of her fancy footwork, however, guarantees her that outside line. And a little push there from Lizzie Slaughter to try and get Zab Zabby Smackdown through to pick up some more points. Pretty successful. She picks up an additional three at the end of that. So... 11 point jam there for Bear City. Eight and a half minutes left in this first half. 73 points to Bear City, 29 to Dublin. Miss Sophie, number 180, is jamming for Bear City and dashing through the snow, number 83 for Dublin. Brew Dolly Lowcock forcing a recycle for Miss Duffy. Snowy's still up at the front there, but she has a tripod to deal with as the pack starts to slowly stretch out a little bit. Miss Duffy picking up a penalty. So it's a power jam to Dublin, but Snowy yet to complete her initial pass. So she's not yet in a position to capitalize. I think that was Catherine Beater Bones there forcing a recycle on Snowy. Who's just been grinding through this jam trying to make her way through just a really, really strong Bear City defense. Miss Zoffy now engaging with the Dublin blockers at the back, having completed her initial pass. Snowy makes her way out, picks up a lead jammer and calls the jam, preventing Miss Zoffy from scoring any points.
So one in the box for Dublin Roller Derby. Lining up four blockers for Berlin then, and three for Dublin. Maya Mangaliu jamming for Bear City. Thea, number 800 for Dublin. Maya Mangaliu, however, picking up, a, picking up a penalty. She's in the box again. It's another power jam. But it's not a very long power jam as Thea makes her way out, picks up a track cut, and is on her way for a switcheroo in the box. So Maya Mangaliu has a few seconds to try and make her presence felt and take him at a bit of an advantage from a very short power jam. And she succeeds completing that initial pass. She's not going to be your lead jammer. She's already spent some time in the box today. And a great scoring pass there from Maya Mangaliu for Bear City. Another four points on the board. And the Dublin blockers pulling back to try and make some space there for Thea, but she raises through, but she's picked off once more and forced to recycle. Second scoring pass of the jam there for Maya Mangaliu. Mangaliu. And the jam comes to its, for its conclusion. Four points on the board, though, for Thea and Dublin. And eight for Maya Mangaliu and Bear City. Oh, excuse me, that is a nine. Yes, that's nine. I need new glasses. 33 points on the board for Dublin, 82 for Bear City, and four minutes left to play in the half. Official review, however. I'm going to use this official review to apologize to Stava number 74, who I didn't call out, but is actually playing for DRD. Sorry, Stava. And as we're heading to halftime, I'm going to ask you to, um, if you are going to buy raffle tickets, to do it in the first few minutes of the half, because we'll be doing the draw as soon as we can once we get underway in that half so that we don't disturb the skaters coming back on track. They don't like it when we're still calling the raffle for some reason. Okay, and we are underway. I'm sure I'll get an update on that official review at some point. Greenhawk Cooney, number 23 for Dublin, 030, Jane DePayne, Jane Von Payne for Bear City, but Greenhawk Cooney is out and lead jammer for Dublin.
Cooney picking up two points and calling the jam before Jane Von Payne can take any points. So team timeout now being called by Bear City, I think. No, it's another official review, actually. I mean, you just got to use them all up, you know, in one go. It just makes life more fun. So how it works is if your official review is upheld, you get one for half. If your review is upheld, you get to keep it and use it again. And uh, if it isn't, you lose it and you can maybe try again next half. Okay, so I think the team timeout is now, no, it's still an official, so the official review has been concluded. I'll give you an update once our head ref has finished talking to the captains, because I know what happened. Okay, so that was Berlin calling an official review. They were seeking a forearm penalty to be assessed on the Dublin Jammer. There was contact with the forearms, but it wasn't significant contact, so the no call is going to stand and Berlin lose their official review for the half. Sabi Schmackdown is jamming for Bear City, dashing through the snow for Dublin. Smackdown is through picking up lead jammer status. And now engaging at the back with the Dublin blockers on a scoring pass. Scoring pass completed by Zabi Schmackdown. Calls off the jam before Snowy can hit the back of that pack and try and pull some points back for Dublin. So another four on the board there for Bear City. Miss Duffy for Bear City jamming. And Gemerald, number 16, for Dublin. It's going to be a real race now. Miss Duffy picking up Lee Jammer's status. She's keeping an eye on her show over her shoulder to see what Gemerald is doing. She's going to try and sneak her way in there to try and get some points before she calls the jam. And she doesn't quite make it, but it was always worth the attempt. So we're inside the final 90 seconds of the first half. Maya Mangalu jamming for Bear City and Thea jamming for Dublin. Around that outside line for Maya Mangalu picking up lead jammer status once more for the team in red. Thea tries the star stash, works quite well for her. 
Two points on the board as Theo was approaching rapidly. So Maya Mangal, you called that jam as soon as she could. She did manage to pick up two points for Bear City and hold off Thea. So one, one Bear City blocker in the penalty box right now. Green Hall Cooney, number 23, jamming for Dublin. And Jane Von Payne, number 030, jamming for Bear City. And it's a real scramble around turn one here. Both jammers embedded deep in the pack, engaging with their respective tripods. Jane Von Payne finding a little gap to hop, skip, and jump over. And Pick up lead jammer status once more for Bear City. That has been their big, big advantage this game. They've just been able to get out there that little bit quicker. Pick up lead jammer status. A successful star pass, or a successful scoring pass. I don't know what a star pass is. And uh, that concludes the jam very nicely and the half for Bear City as they pick up another four points. They're going in at the half with 92 points. Dublin on 35. So that's the end of the halftime. If you do want to buy some raffle tickets, please do so now. There are some lovely prizes, and you will be supporting Dublin Roller Derby. And we will do the jam in, do the draw in five minutes. playing the game now, so I think we're going to stop. <laughs> Okay, so jam number one of the game number two. At least I hope it's jam number one. Green Hal Cooney is jamming for Dublin. She's through, picked up her lead jammer status and is on her scoring pass. Jane Von Payne, number th zero, 030, zero, is jamming for Bear City. Green Hal Cooney calling off the jam, picking up two points for Dublin. So everyone, go sit down. <laughs> yeah. So jamming for Bear City, we have number 25, Mia Missal, and Thea, number 800 for DRD. And Mia Missal is launched through the pack. But does pick up a forearms penalty. So it is a chance for Thea with a power jam to try and pull some points back for DRD. Beautiful jump there by Mia Missal. Doesn't quite land it, so forced to recycle. But some excellent footwork there from the Bear City Jammer. Thea getting some assistance from one of the Dublin blockers. And makes her way out of that pack, but she picks up a track cut penalty and decides to go the long way around to the penalty box. Meanwhile, Hannah Satana has 
taking the star for Bear City. It's a star pass. No pass, no penalty, so she can proceed and try and pick up some more points for the red team. And the jam comes to a close, four points on the board there. Thea picking up four as well, though. So Thea starting the jam in the penalty box. Maya Mangalu, number 1111 for Bear City is the jammer. Thea makes her way out. She picks up a lead jammer status. So Thea has the control of the jam, makes her way through for a scoring pass, calls off at four points, and doesn't let Maya Mangalu score any. So a good start there from Dublin. And as we line up again for the next jam of the half, we have one Bear City blocker in the pack. And Sabi's Smackdown is jamming for Bear City. Dashing Trudy Snow, number 83 for DRD. And Snowy is through. But once more, picking up a track cut. Dublin knowing they have to get out and get those lead jammer statuses. But the last couple of jams, it just hasn't quite worked out for them. As Zabi Smackdown is being held back once more by that powerful wall of Dublin blockers. She's through on that initial pass, but also not your lead jammer, so she can't call it off. Sabi Schmackdown, another scoring pass there from her. Sabi Schmackdown held once more by that tripod at the back of the pack as we see uh, an attempted star pass. And the jam called off once more. Three points on the board at the end of that jam, bringing the total to 15 and bringing Bear City over the century. 111 points to them, 45 to DRD. So once more, one Bear City blocker in the pack. Miss Zoffi is jamming for Berlin. And for Dublin, we have number 2-3, Green Halcuni. And Miss Zoffi is off like a rocket around that turn one, around that outside line. Once more, picking up lead jammer status. 
for Bear City. Oh, and some excellent spotting there by Brudali Lowcock, who sees that Miss Zafi is approaching that inside line and just hip checks her over the line and forces the call off. Three points on the board there for Bear City. Gemerald, number 16 for DRD, and Mia Missile once more for Bear City. It's just her second time as Jammer so far this game that I've been able to spot, but Gemerald is out. She's lead Jammer for Dublin. And spots a gap for that scoring pass. Four points on the board there for Gemerald. Mia Missile trying to work her way through Decides to go for the star pass. She passes to Jane Von Payne, who has been one of the stalwart jammers for Bear City this game so far. But it is not quick enough. Eight points on the board this jam for Dublin. The best jam in quite the while, I think. And an official, or official timeout being called. Okay, so we're sitting at the end of our official timeout. Gemerald starting in the box. Maya Mangalu, 1111, starting with a power jam. Short lived power jam as the track cut ensures she's leaving the track once more and going to do a swap with Gemerald. The Dublin blockers making sure they have pack advantage there as they've managed to hold on to Amazon as Gemerald makes her way through, picking up a lead jammer status. If they can hold on to Amazon, this is a great chance for them. As Gemerald does a huge jump over the turn, stays on her feet and completes the scoring pass. Fantastic work from Gem. And as I said, those are very quick power jams. Magalu is back on the track as well. And I believe working to complete her initial pass. Recycled force there by RG Bargy on Maya Mangalu. As up at the front there, just Gemerald making her way past Hannah Satana to complete another scoring pass. As the jam comes to its conclusion. And after another eight point jam from Dublin, Bear City calling a team timeout.
Another reminder that our after party is taking place in Fibsborough this evening from about eight o'clock in the back page. There's gonna be pizza. So we have one Bear City blocker in the pack, in the in the box. We have two Dublin blockers in the box. So just Stabba and Bruzy trying to hold back the tides there. Uh, Sabi Smackdown is your lead jammer, completes a first scoring pass, calls off the jam. So 61 points on the board for DRD, 118 for Bear City. As you can hear from the chants, Miss Zoffy is jamming for Bear City. Green Halkunu for Dublin, number 23. Recycled force there by Pippa, pulling her right back to the back. But she recovers very quickly and speeds down that inside line to pick up lead jammer status once more for Bear City. And two more points on the board before the call off there. 120 points now to Bear City. And we have what looks like a completely empty penalty box once more. As we see Mia Missile once more jamming for Bear City and AK for Dublin. And Mia Missa spotting a gap on the outside line straight through to claim, claim lead, jatter, lead jammer status. Attempted apex jump foiled by Maniha, forcing the recycle. Almost halfway through the second half. As we line up once more, just one Bear City blocker in the box. The pivot, in fact. As Maya Mangalu lines up for the team in red. And that's Thea, number 800, for Dublin. And Thea finally making it out at the turn to pick up lead jammer status. Maya Mangalu forced the recycle, but she gives herself a good lead up to try and bash her way through like nine pins and complete a scoring pass. Thea taking a tumble. She's going to work her way back. Take a quick look at Maya Mangalu call off the jam. She does manage to pick up two points for Dublin. Sabi Schmackdown, number 166 for Bear City, lining up against 83, dashing Trudy Snow. We have as one Bear City blocker in the box, so just three for Snowy to beat, as she does so, picking up a lead jammer status. 
I think that's a couple in a row for Dublin of lead jammer statuses. They want, they want to extend that. They want to try and push and push and try and get their scoring passes in. And a great chance now for Snowy as Zabi Schmackdown picking up a forearms penalty. She's in the box. It's a power jam to Dublin. Hannah Saitana forcing a, a recycle there of Snowy. She's trying to work her way around, makes her way around that inside. She's being chased down by Hannah Saitana, but she makes her way through for the scoring pass. Four more points now on the board for DRD. And Snowy managing to call the jam before Sabi Schmackdown is released from the box. So it's going to be a power start for Greenhall Cooney. And a very, very quick run through that pack. Third lead jammer status in a row for DRD. Sabi Schmackdown holding up that jammer panty, but she is being pushed backwards by Pippa and by Lana Payne there. And by Dirty Knees Louise. Meanwhile, up the front, Green Halcuni is being held by a tripod of Bear City skaters. Brudal trying to get some space there for Green Halcuni to try and make her way through. Zabish back down, still also being held. And Greenhall Cooley being taken out at the top of the pack and forced all the way back. Zabi Schmackdown has exactly the same thing happen to her. Amazon and Hannah Satana really, really pushing Cooney. I am exhausted just watching this as this jam is winding down to its natural conclusion. Four very hard one points on the board there for Green Greenhall Cooney. What a jam. <laughs> Blockers making those jammers just work, work, work for every single one of those points. As Bear City call their second team timeout of the half. So just 10 minutes left in this game. And some nice encouraging chanting from DRD. Although I'm not gonna lie, I've heard some pretty good chanting from Bear City as well. She said, as they were all very quiet. <laughs> But they're busy, they're having a timeout. There they go. So lining up on the jam line, we have Mia Missile number 25 up against Gemerald number 16. Released with the whistle as Gemerald 
like the wind out and before she hits the pivot line she is your lead jammer for this jam Successful scoring pass there by Gemerald. As Mia Marcel hits the box, it is a power jam to DRD. Just two blockers on the track to beat. They're trying to take up as much space as they can, but that is another scoring pass by Gemerald. Gemerald able to negate the height advantage of this very tall Bear City trio. They've just been owning the defense a lot today, but Gemerald getting in her third scoring pass there, 12 points. Lots of whistles. It looks like a track cut assessed on Gemerald. So now it's the turn of Mia Missile to try and get some points on the board. She has a full complement of Dublin blockers to beat, but one of them is being held captive by the Bear City defense. Malibu is holding her off as long as she can, but that's another four points on the board there. That was a aspirational apex jump. And the jam concludes, but Gemerald was back on the track, so it looks like we'll have two jammers at the start of this next jam. So 12 points that jam for Dublin, eight points for Bear City. They are not letting Dublin have any high scoring jams today. But other than a couple of power jams, again, those power jams are, I think 15 points was maybe the highest jam that we've seen today. So they haven't been hugely high scoring jams. It's just been just chip away and chip away and chip away. And it's been working really, really well for Bear City so far. They're able to get out and get those lead jammer statuses. So, just because I said there was no jammers in the box, there's now a jammer in the box, because that's how it rolls. So, Mia Missile starting seated in the box, a power jam for Dublin initially. Let's see if Green Alcuni can capitalize. So, she's out, she's your lead jammer. That's how to start it. So we've got quite mixed crews. We don't have two disparate packs here, but that was a great, uh, some great defensive work there. Greenhall Cooney completing a scoring pass. And Mia Missa with a star stash gets her through that initial pass. Some defensive blocking here from the jammer. So that was another eight point jam there for Dublin. Again, they're chipping away ever so slightly, bit by bit, on that Bear City lead. They have six and a half minutes to try and make it up. And on the jamming line, we have Miss Zoffy for Bear City and Snowy for Dublin. Miss Zoffy is out though, she's your lead jammer.
What a great hit there by Maria Von Slap, taking out Miss Zoffi, who was, I think, pretty confident of getting that inside line, but she was held back and forced to recycle. Star Stash from Snowy completing her initial, but Miss Zoffi makes her way out of that scoring pass and calls the jam with her four points. And we have everybody on track starting this next jam. Oh wait, it's a team timeout. <laughs> Dublin's team timeout concludes. The skaters line up once more. We have Maya Mangalu, Mangalu number 1111 for Bear City and Thea number 800 for Dublin. The score stands at 93 points to 136. And Thea is out down that inside line. She's cut through the pack like a hot lightsaber through a tauntaun, picking up lead jammer status for Dior D. Thea spotting Maya Mangilu approaching the back of that pack, calls it off and is, I think, pretty happy with her three points. Again, chipping, chipping, chipping slowly away. Zabi Schmackdown, number 166, lining up for Bear City. And Gemerald, number 16, for DRD. We have an empty penalty box once more, full complement of blockers on the track. As each jammer tries to find that space, Amazon trying to hold back Gemerald, and now we have Bam Bickle trying to hold back Gemerald. Gemerald is your lead jammer, but it's going to be a real jammer race now between Zabi Schmackdown and Gemerald. Gemerald giving Bam Bickle her head. She wants to try and get more points on the board. And they both complete a scoring pass, four points apiece. The jam called three points. No, wait, that's seven points for Bear City. And seven points for DRD. So no real material advantage for each team, but a pretty interesting, fun jam to watch. And Dublin are now over that century, 103 points to Dublin, 143 to Bear City. Jane Von Payne, number 030 for Bear City. Greenhall Cooney, however, is out. And Lee Jammer for DRD. And Greenhall Cooney calling the jam, taking a point and calling the jam. Team timeout called now for Dublin.
I know you probably can't see it if you're watching from home, but Bear City have an amazing flag in the audience. And I just want to know how they got that on a plane because it's pretty, pretty cool. So team timeout of one minute comes to its conclusion. And as the teams are all lined up, they're going to just go ahead with the next jam. We have Miss Doffy lining up for Bear City. She's very quick down that outside line. And Snowy for DRD. One Dublin blocker in the box. As Miss Doffy tells her teammates what she wants, gets through some of the pack and calls the jam. So three points on the board there for Bear City. And we are just two minutes and 17 seconds left in this second half of this extremely, <laughs> um, what would I call it? Great game. <laughs> Maya Mangalu, number 111 for Bear City, and Thea, number 800 for DRD. Once more, a quick release for Maya Mangalu, and she is your lead jammer. And Dublin Roller Derby calling an official review. And it is an official review, official timeout. So I think that clock might reverse a little bit. Zabi Smackdown number 166 is the jammer for Bear City. Green Halcuni once more for Dublin, but Zabi is through. Smacks it down and picks up lead jammer status. And a quick scoring pass there for Zabi Smackdown. Greenhill Cooney, though, keeping her tally four for four. Pippa forcing a recycle on Sabi Smackdown. Recycle also forced on Greenhill Cooney. As Sabi Smackdown completes another scoring pass. And that's more points on the board for Dublin, 115 to 159. The period, the period clock has counted down. So I think we should be seeing unofficial final pretty soon.
Okay, so it is now the final score, 115 to DRD, 159 to Bear City. Okay, so once you've done your high fives, we are going to call the last few raffle tickets. We still have a couple of prizes left, so don't go too far. So let's give it up for your home team, Dublin Roller Derby! Let's give it up for your victorious visitors, Bear City Roller Derby! That was an awesome game and an awesome day. Two fantastic games. One victory for DRD earlier on and a victory for Bear City, so nobody's going home empty-handed. Especially those of you who bought raffle tickets, because I still have a few more prizes to give out. So I'm going to recall some of the old tickets from the halftime break. There's a pink 31 to 35. OK. We're just calling the old ones now. So pink 211 to 215. Yellow 51 to 55. Yellow, 91 to 95. I always feel so popular at this time of day. Blue, 6 to 10. Blue, 51 to 55. No, anyone got any one of those? They're the old ones from before the break. Okay, I've got some new ones. Pink, 216 to 220. 216? 